Welcome to video number 30 in SSRS SQL reporting service. Today we are going to look into the formatting time. In the last video we saw how can we format the date and with a little tweak in some you know number we can also format the date uh, with respect to time. So if you remember last time what we did was just a recap I had added a new report and I prepared my the data set it was pretty simple all I did was like drag uh, four tables the relationship was there by default it was done by the query designer itself and I choose I like product ID order date and blah 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 so that was it uh, done from my end next thing I came here and I drew a table in which I drag and drop all the fields and then I choose order date and then I choose text box properties where I set the date as 2001 and 31 so it is like four times Y month and a date format let's hit OK and let's preview so you can see this is a date format so sometimes it happens you know users are pertain to be very uh, time based specific so if you want to do that so you can also do it by using you know there's a time category so you can choose your thing you know so hit OK and preview so you can see the time as well now in this case it is not visible but if I quickly go and add a new item and I add a report I call it as report time alright it is going to take a few minutes data set EMP I'm sorry data set time I'm going to use the data set data source new I'm gonna choose a shared one shared one what you're seeing on the right side is my shared data source alright <clears throat> so what you're seeing over here is this is my data source the data source generic dot RDS let's open a query designer let's add no column selectors interesting I'm sorry add an um, employees close employee ID last name first name and what else uh, birth date I'm interested in hired execute looks great let's hit OK come outside let's call our favorite guy table once our data set is ready we are ready for the table let's go back to report data start dragging your stuff first name last name and your hire date insert column to the right and this is your hire date so we are all good let's make this baby a little nice and let's add some I don't know what color is that and let's go to the date so choosing part is very tricky if uh, you choose some field so you need to remember like you know if the text is selected you need to hit escape in order to gray box to appear once the gray box starts appearing right click hit text box properties choose the number and we are talking about time right so this is what we want we are very time specific we want to display date along with a correct time so let's hit ok let's preview so you can see I'm sorry this is not looking nice need a little room save it preview now it looks nice so you can see like you know Nancy Andrew and Janet these guys were recorded exactly at 10 30 a.m. so it's kind of time basic um, regards to time if you want to change something you can always do your plus and minus this will totally will show you a time and this will show you an AM PM format so you can mess around and you can try the different option right so these are the timings where you don't care about the days so it depends how you want to do it but generally most recommended is like uh, you go like this you choose a time and like this and hit OK and now if you look at it, it makes more sense right so I hope this video gives you an idea how you can you know uh, configure your time uh, with the help of a formatting and all right so if this video helps you in some way then please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video good night and take care